Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to play B on overpass. I'm going to show you all the utilities you need to know. And now you can play B in the early round, the mid round and also late round. And now you can play aggressive and defensive. So let's get right into it. First of all, for the early rounds, you always want to throw up a monster smoke. So throw it, come into right here, aim as shown and then just jump through. Smoke lands perfectly in monster and smoke off monster. Then you almost always want a guy that goes heaven and goes down to monster and murders it like this. And then you can go, either can go down with a flash and spray it, or you can just need the pipe to anti rush. Then you almost always want the guy running towards short right here, throwing a money on the short pipe. And you can do that by running right here. When you get to this red door, aim at the top of this building and then hold both mouth buttons down and then just release like this. The model is perfectly short. And you throw it first of all because you need the info if they're going out short and also forces them to use a smoke if they want to go out short and you can easily hear that. And then the third guy can either go with monster to try and hold monster or he can go short to try and hold short. He can also throw a flash like this where I come into this corner, aim at the bottom with arrow and then just flash to try and deny any rushes. And the guy that's mollies, if he finds out they always go out short and you don't want to take it and just do some damage. Then you have a guy come into this corner right here, find this cross right here, aim at the middle of it and jump throw. This nade land perfectly right here and anybody rushing out like this will take nade damage. And you have to throw this nade around 1.44 on the clock. And if you want to dominate it, you can also get a guy jumping like this and on 1.44 jump and throw his nade. And it lands exact same place and gives you so much damage if they're going out short. You can also, if you want to play a little more aggressive early round, you can try and take short control. And normally you want to do that with either two persons or you want to get two people going down in connector and swinging short with you. If you go out short, some good flashes you can throw is you can get a guy over in this corner, just bounce some flashes on this wall like this. And you can throw them while their other teammates are going out. As you can see, your teammates don't get bite of them. And any enemy trying to fight this angle or anything is full wide. Now for the mid round. In the mid round, if you want to play aggressive, there's a lot of different things you can do. First of all, a really really good thing if you want to play aggressive is to just nade the door like this. And you can also follow that nade up with a flash, where the nade blows open the door and the flash lands right here, flashing anybody who is peeking towards connector like this. And that can help your teammates on A, and also set them up to take a peeking connector to try and take the control. If you want to retake short and do some aggressive stuff in the mid round, then you can take short two different ways. The first way, which is probably the best way, is you just come in right here. Then just take this line right here, aim at the middle of it and jump throw. Then just come into the corner, aim about this cross right here, a little bit to the left and then jump throw. The model lands perfectly right here and burns anybody who's playing on the right side right here. And then right off the flash by aiming at this window right here. The flash pop perfectly right here and anybody who was standing in the model swinging out or anybody holding like this or like this or staying all the way back here will get full white by the flash. And it's a really good way to catch enemies off guard. And if you think they're staying ready for the flash after for the mulu, you can instead of going out short, also just do a boost to try and get some free kills. The other way you can do it is that you can just get two teammates to go close fast and then you can just throw this flash and barrels right here. By just going to into this wall right here, aim at the button right here and jump throw. The flash lands the same place, but it's a thing you can do a little bit more quick instead of you having to set up this mulu. Then a very popular thing right now to do in the mid round is to boost. And especially in the major, I've seen these two different boosts used the most. First of all, probably the boost they used most is this one right here. Where we get a guy to get all the way out to this edge right here. And then you can boost up while you're standing here so it can't be seen. And then you can almost peek short out like this, seeing if anybody's there. And it's really powerful because you don't have to do a jump up and then make some sound and look. But you can go up silently and you can do a swing. So that's a really, really powerful thing. Another boost I also see quite often if you needed the condor is to boost right here up on the side, getting anybody who's pushing connector, but also see a little bit of short. And a really, really good to do late round. You can also, if you want to try and take lobby control outside of monster, then get a guy to go into the cross right here, aim at the bottom left of this window right here and jump from. These are absolutely the best flashes out here because they blind everybody even and it also blinds anybody who's deep like this and they're just full white. And you can throw this flash to either somebody pop out the monster smoke or coming from the short pipe. If you instead want to play a little bit more defensive and just want to wait up the time, some really good things you can do is know how to re-smoke monster. And first, if you barrels, 
go into this corner, aim at this dot right here, and then jump throw. And if you're playing more towards APC, come into this corner right here, find this logo, go down a little bit, and then jump throw. Both of these smokes then invite right outside the monster and give you a perfect monster smoke. Some really good setups you can play is first of all having a guy either playing barrels like this or playing close like this, holding this angle from pillar. And then having a second guy playing looking towards short like this. Or if you have a third player looking short, you can just stay anti and get ready to swing on short and get ready to swing on monster where they get contact. Then the third guy can play a bunch of different angles. He can play a short angle like this, where he has a really really good off angle. He can also play an angle like this from the side backs. Or just whatever angle he likes to play towards short. Then you can also, instead of having a guy barrels, he can just play on the left side right here, holding it but pushing. And if they decided to flash him, then you have the rain guy anti-flash ready to swing. There's a little bit more of some aggressive setups where you try to get the monster control. But if you are maybe in a man advantage and just want to play retake on B or just want to play a little bit more safe on B, then a really good setup you can have if it is a guy water right here holding the bridge like this or a little bit more aggressive. And then having the second guy stay here in ABC holding anybody who's crossing from side down to water. By using this setup, you will still have to plant the bomb, have all of this water control, ABC and everything, so your teammates can easily just rotate fast and you can do a really really good retake. You can also just if you're alone, just play this angle here to try and keep the control if they're planning the bomb. There's also a lot of different cool angles you just can play and try to make your own setup. Where one of them is on top right here, looking towards monster, which is a really good off angle. And just play around and see what angle works best for you. It's really really important and make some setups with them. And one of the really really important thing on overpass and B is to not waste your utility. You normally are free players so you have free smokes and free smolos. And if you just smoke monster instant around and try to not smoke off short and molly off monster at the same time and just spare your utility a little bit for late round, you can easily just with utility block off monster until there are 30 and 20 seconds left in the round. And that just gives you a so big advantage that you can have this key point smoked off and makes it way easier to defend B.